Hello everyone, Lucky Bunny from Minecraft Funny Games, and I'm going to be showing you an automatic melon slash pumpkin farm. Today I'll be using the melons as demonstration as they are more useful in the game of Minecraft. Um, okay, so for this contraption, there is a two kinds of versions. There's a single version, which is a bit more compact, and then there is the side-by-side -side version where there's multiple. Um, now with the side-by-side -side version, it does require one extra piece of redstone and one extra block. So, really, it's nice to maybe even build that version, even if you plan on just making the single version, because then, if you ever decide to trans transition it into a multiple one, you can do so. Now, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need 14 blocks, a piece of glowstone, which is completely optional. You can use torches, but the glowstone is much simpler. You can, you're going to need one piston, preferably not sticky, which, you know, is easier to make. A redstone torch, a piece of redstone, a, pe a one redstone repeater, one melon seed, bone meal, hoe, and water bucket. Now, with the hoe, it can be any kind of hoe. I'll just be using diamond hoe because I have it available. You only need to you will only need to hoe it though once. Also, the bone meal is completely optional because, as you know, melons do grow. But with bone meal, it's much faster. So I'll be using that to speed up the process. Now, I'm gonna explain this real quick. When I that re that repeater is powered by this redstone torch which is powering the block which is powering the repeater then the repeater will be powered by this watermelon or pumpkin that spawns due to this it will then power this redstone which will then proceed to power this block right here which will then power the piston which will destroy the watermelon which will stop the current and there you go now make sure you have this block right here in front so that the watermelon does not grow on this block or pumpkin because otherwise that will stop the process. Also, this doorway is completely optional, but it's nice to have this block on the top though because then you can't trample the crop because it, crops can only be destroyed by jumping and at two block height you cannot jump fully so it does not destroy the crop. Now, I will be showing you how to build this one, but first I'm going to get into this one real quick. With this one, you cannot place the torch under the block, otherwise it interferes with this structure right here next to it. So you gotta place a block out here, torch, then redstone into the block. Not that much, you know, not that resource, um, you know, it doesn't take up that many resources. But it does add an extra block to the back of it, which isn't all that bad. Um, also, what you could do is um, place that there. Place a torch there, and get rid of that. But, the problem is, is it does not travel into this block, so you'd have to place a redstone right there to make it travel. Now, just for aesthetic purposes, I'm just going to do that. And, as you heard, one of the pistons just went off. That was due to a little bit of a, um, of a little glitch when you place it. It's, it, the melon did not grow yet. Also, melons can grow in this. I have tested this and waited a while to see if it did grow, and it does grow. I was, they're not that fast, but that's due to melon growth, not due to this machine. Because this machine only consists of one repeater, which is completely necessary. But it's only one tick delay. Okay, now going into building this one. What you're going to first want to do is start with that little door right there. Then just make kind of a uh, little oval, missing these two squares right there. Then you're going to want to go ahead and break down to there, place a torch. And place that back. There you go. Go ahead and finish your doorway. Sorry for the lag. My computer is not the best, so. Yeah. Okay. Once you've done so, you can then place blocks there and there. Not there. And then you can place a glowstone right there. That's where I prefer to put it because it is the it's the best possible option, I believe. You can go ahead and place a redstone there, place a repeater there, and then you're going to need to go ahead and put your piston right there. Hoe that oh, first. Make sure you have some water nearby just in case, so I suggest just putting it the block beneath it. Okay. Go ahead and hoe the ground. Get your melon seed out and bone meal it, and you're ready to go. That is all. It takes seconds, takes minimal resources, and it's great. So I'm just going to show you that this one works. Walk up, and you do get all the melons possible. So, 
it's a very very great little automatic melon farm there are other ones that you that require a manual button but this one is completely automatic and you can walk up at any time collect the melons and just walk away there's no buttons needed to be pressed it's perfect now i'm going to be uh, showing you how to make the double one now the reason why there is a separate kind that is for double is because if you were to put this together it would have a two block gap due to these two side blocks and these two side blocks are com not completely and totally um necessary as to this one is not necessary but it, it's better to close it off but if i were to say put a redstone torch under this one and put that there which is what this block is so if this block were to be replacing that then this is constantly powered so just know that you cannot do so and there would have to be a two block uh, gap now with this one there's a one block gap which is a lot better and I'm going to be going how to make this one it's the same thing basically go ahead and make your single one and then go ahead right over here and just branch off and make another one there you go go ahead and finish your doorway and also feel free to add stairs and half slabs and any other kind of block you want to use to make this look nicer I'm just making a very simple and elegant looking one and if you'd like to copy the design feel free I am not in any way stopping you go ahead and place a redstone there and there now just continue what we did before, except don't place that torch under that block. And just continue on doing so. And then what you're going to want to do is place a block there and there. So you can place a torch there and redstone, redstone, and torch. Now this did take me a little bit to figure out, and uh, it didn't take me too long. But it did take me a little bit to figure out how to consolidate and make sure that I had the most space possible for the um, the redstone. Because otherwise, before, it would take up about a five block radius and five blocks back. And I've consolidated it down to this. So, there you go. Go ahead and hoe the soil. Pull out your seed and your bone meal. Melon seed, bone meal melon seed and bone meal and you're good to go you have your double melon slash pumpkin farm now just to show you that these both work I'm gonna place a melon there worked and you did not hear this one go off um, it's kinda hard to display that it did not go off but trust me it does not go off I've uh, had ways to doing it it just it you'd it'd be louder the piston if it did go off that one works and that one works now as I said before the watermelon can still grow there and it does not ha do anything. So what you're going to have to do is place a stone block there, a stone block there. It doesn't need to be stone just as long as it's not grass. And that's about it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And uh, definitely come back to Minecraft Fun and Games. And uh, we're going to be doing a community um, series where we show off maps, texture packs, skins, and mods. So definitely send us any kind of community created thing a build anything you want we will showcase showcase it in our community um series so thanks for watching guys this has been lucky bunny for minecraft funny games and uh see you later guys hope you enjoy